As people of developer, we deal with people code and SQL issues in our day-to-day -day life. Today, I'm going to show you how to take people code and SQL trace. I injected a SQL bug in people code. Let's trace that out. Let me show the bug first. When I check this non-owned item, you can see a fatal SQL error. SQL error in compiled. I bet we may have seen this error at least once. Let's debug the error. In order to trace the bug, let's reset the component. Let's go out of the component. Click no. Again, select the item. Ignore this warning. Do not perform the last action that triggers the error. First, le let's explore the app server logs path. You can connect to app server logs path using PuTTY or WinSCP. I have connected using WinSCP. This is the path to access the logs folder, PS Home, User ID, People Tools, App Server, App Server Domain, Logs. Go back to item page. Now is the time to enable trace by clicking on new window. Navigate to people tools, utilities, debug, and check select trace people code. These are the different trace parameters used to generate the trace file. I'll select trace start of the programs. Click save. So there are multiple other options if you want like granular level to trace you can enable this but it will generate a huge file. Then go to trace sql. Select sql bind again like uh, people code trace these are different parameters that can be enabled but it will generate a tremendous amount of trace file based on the setup you do here. Click save. As soon as you do this, go to our app server logs path, refresh. You see the trace file is generated, which syncs with my time. Now right click and delete this because this, this is the trace generated for enabling the trace. We don't need this trace. Let me open the trace file. This code is actually showing setting our trace parameters and enabling the people code, debugging and all. You don't need this. Let's delete this file. You need to have sufficient access to delete the file. I deleted this since we know we don't need it. So now let's go to a page. Since we have enabled trace, now is the time to replicate the issue. So, so in the back end, what's happening is it's generating the trace file based on the setup we did. Let's open the trace file. Let's refresh. Now open the trace. Now this is the trace file which we made. If you see this is this shows all the people code and SQL trace that got executed. So now you can see invalid syntax. It shows location of people code executed. As you can see here, it's master item table, non own flag field edit. So invalid SQL syntax. You can open that path in app designer. Now you can clearly see that I didn't provide any SQL exec parameters here that, that's causing that people code error. So I'm, I can comment this out. That's it. We have fixed the bug right now. Let's reset the component. Ah, since we changed some people code is showing us data in the Open it. 
ignore this warning just check this now you don't see the paper code error now you know how to take the trace thank you